I see you. <laughs> to steal the ship was made in jest. I never expected this. My own fate has always kept me trapped on Gavin's end. I, I never dared to dream of escape. But you possess a quality, something I have never seen before. You did as you promised. Now I must do in kind. W what do you wish to know? You had asked me such a question, not but one day ago I would have said yes. Without a shadow of a doubt. But things have changed. Call it fate. Call it destiny. Call it the will of Blaster the Kara. An event is coming. And I wish to be a witness. I will stay. For now. He wanted to embrace death. He was ready. His peace was made. The car, in his incredible ignorance, saved Dead Carol from the Eternal Black. I don't know what the pirate wants, but I understand his rage. The Fallen One is not a surface dweller. He died once, and ever since he's preferred to stay beneath the ground. Makara Tor is his lair. Despite their history, Dead Kel and the Great Akara are still connected. Where you find one, you will find the other. Yes, which is rare on this island of scavengers and fanatics. I trust you. Even though many years of hardship has taught me to do otherwise. I will confide in you. Because despite my wish to leave this place, I have no desire to hurt the stranded souls that wish to stay. There is a spy in Cape Solis. One who is not as they appear. One who plans to disrupt the offering. If I could reveal their identity, I would. My sight only tells me how the threads travel, not where or to whom. And this figure is powerful, magical, and wields a strong grip over fate. Same as you will. Use your gift. Open your eyes to the signs. If you are willing to see in a new way, you will find the one you are looking for. The Kara. Our island god may be a devil and a manipulator, but he remains powerful. That is what this is all about. Dead Kel was formed by Akara's own hand. The moment he was created, his true evil was apparent. The great Akara turned his back on Kel. Ever since then, the dreaded pirate has plotted to receive the blessing denied him, but without success. But you'll find that even death has a way of surprising you on the gallows end. Look at dead Kel. Take the Requiem back to Cape Solace. Find the new Scion and protect her from this threat. You are the only one who can. Take these potions. They will help you find the spy. Whoever this is, they wield the power of fate as you do. 
trust me. The Requiem is ours. Now we must sail it to Cape Solace and give others the opportunity to join us. Hurry to Cape Solace. Marvellous! You stole the Requiem! What's the dreaded pirate to do now without his ship? Our passage from the island is secure. That is, if you're interested in leaving. And if you stay, I stay. You know how I feel, but to remind you, I hate this place. I wish it would sink into the sea forever. Needless to say, I'm eager to leave, but I won't abandon you. Any time you wish to return to Rathir, I'll take you. But until then, I'm staying right here. Do not thank me. We stand together, you and I. We started this journey as companions, but the fires of adversity have made us something more. Friends. And I don't let my friends down. Well, not counting that time with Garant. He died. Now go. Find the turncoat if Dead Cow means to disrupt the village's ceremony, he will do so soon. I owe you my life. crazy maiden nearly tore my hair out. Do you have any idea what it costs to have yourself quaffed in such a manner? No, you probably don't. I suppose I'm your prisoner then. Excellent. And I thought my day couldn't get any better. Calder and I were students together. I took to spellbinding while he took to... going mad, it seems. I don't like the job. You should call him by his true title, Lord Vaughn. His family holds great power in Rathir. Eccentric they are, interested in relics, research and rumors, all of which led them here. Once they knew about Gallo's End, they had to find it. Well, I've been to finer islands, this heap of wrecks and zealots has its charms. I'm having difficulty naming them, but I'm sure there are some. Farewell. Oh. You're too late. We were all too late. The new Scion, Bridget. She's gone mad. I noticed that she'd been acting strangely, refusing food, talking to herself. Most Scions experience moments of opacity, but this was different. When I questioned her, she grew hostile. I've never seen anything like it. A new magic, flashes of purple light. And then she was gone, gone. You'll never find Bridget. Not unless you can see the invisible. Farewell.
Verga. The fair Gorta have discovered my presence. They hunt me deep into the evenings, poking their torch-lit skulls into every nook and fasting. I cannot tarry here, not for long. It has become apparent that the De Verga were the last civilized race to inhabit Gallows End. If you can call the dwarves civilized, Remnants of their dominion scar the isle from top to bottom, culminating in the great keep of Grave Hall in the south. However, I can locate no reference to such a place in the Frostbake Omnibus. Their occupation was provisory at best. Another group come and gone. What was that? Sound. Footsteps. My nerves are fraying, dear Nita. Odessa is all I fancy. Your face and the comforts of home. I must go, for they come. What do you seek, child? Bridget is gone. She resisted me at first. Surrendered when she realized how painful I could be. Kel was correct. These villagers, so young, so foolish. And you, I see how you move through the world, how you tear through the threads of fate, where I only weave them. What are you? He said you'd find me in time, and here you are. It takes much to earn the gaze of dead Kel, child. You must truly be special. 
She stands before you. I am Bridget, and she is me. As far as hosts go, she has been adequate. But I only chose her because she is meant to be the Scion, and she is meant to possess the power. No, not yet. But it will end soon enough. Dead Kel will receive the blessing of Akara, even if it means that I must gain it first. No one shall stand in our way. Not man, not God. Akara... <laughs> I didn't know. How could I? All Scions grow distant. They bear too much responsibility. They are only human. My poor Bridget. All she wanted was to serve Akara, and he allows this to happen. What is his protection worth if he can't stop one witch? Whatever shall we do now? The offering is upon us, but we have no one to offer. I am shaken, as is my faith. We here on Gallows End are a fragile few. We have always survived by the grace of Akara. I weep for the loss of my wife, but I tremble for the loss of my god. I 
magic prevents dead Kel from entering this village and from taking part in the offering ceremony. He is broken and not worthy of Akara's blessing. The Whispering Witch would be his key to unlock the power he's always coveted. Possessing Bridget, she would take the role of Scion, and all of the power came with it. It was an insidious plot, but undeniably inspired. You! There are others who waited a lifetime for the opportunity, only to have another chosen. But you did have the vision to discover Dead Kel's plot, and the strength to defeat the Witch. Is there anyone more worthy of Akara's blessing? Yes, this is what must be done. Go to the ruins on the northern mountain and claim our people's birthright. There is no other way. They are called the Watchers. You will know them by their robes and masks. They are the silent guardians of Akara. The Scion is their voice. Both the outgoing Scion and the one who has been newly chosen are protected by these ancient warriors. I once knew Atari, though he was just a boy, and that was many years ago now. I wonder what ever became of him. You are the Scion now. My wife Bridget gave her life to stop Dead Kel's plot. It was a sacrifice to keep the rest of our village safe. That is how I will remember her. Strong. Sailor. Welcome back. How can I help you this fine day? So, there's more to Grave Hall than the superstitions suggest. Very good. You appear to be making quite the impression here on the island. Don't let it go to your head. See you around. <laughs> you cannot hide your amazement. Truly, your facade is a weak one, my liege. But still, I appreciate the effort. But what is an art gallery without an artist? The painter Benwick Atholm from the village showed interest, so I invited him to join us here. You will find him in the gallery, searching for inspiration. I find it curious that our keeps every need seems to be filled at just the right moment. An artist and a linguist arrive on our beach just as we build a library in a gallery? Preposterous, right? I fear I'm starting to agree with one thing Alda says. Akara brings to the island those who need to be here. Though I had no idea I was building an art gallery, I dare say I may have created the world's finest purely by accident. There's one last thing to build. Your keep is tall, but yes, not tall enough. My dream has shown me a tower so tall and so majestic that ships will see it from miles around. You could not be overlooked. For this, I will need three bundles of beach stone, four bundles of bear hide, three bundles of ember wood, and three bundles of sea steel. Nothing in the room suggests what function the tower served, but I don't think it matters. This last crowning jewel to your keep should be something new, something entirely out of our own inspiration. Something has guided us so far. Fate, Akara, I don't know. I say we trust in whatever it is to lead us to the end of the journey. My dream offers no insight about the tower, but fills me with awe at its majesty. 
It occurs to me that this tower may have some special purpose for us, but I need to make some inquiries. Okay, once again I've had Zephwin provide me with locations on your map where you might find the materials. I can't wait to get started on this project. Bye. Good to see you. Not a bad one, but not a great one either. There's more wrecks to search when you're ready to send me. I've been searching the island for the last... Do you see one you'd like me to salvage? We should at least get some good warrior equipment out of this hall. Talk to you when I return tomorrow. Be wary. We sing of good kings shipborne and stout, from fasting waked and white wind whispered. He was Ulfston chief, father of foundlings, boasted and beloved. With bitter mandate, they laid him upon a serpent steed. Kin kissed the brow and wept, tears into the flames, until mournful billow and scarlet banner bore him north. Treasures heavy upon his heart. The great blaze bloomed, jewel bright and wild. A dark night lit by kingly fire. Hmm. waiting for Alder's wife to come up here and do something. Not sure what, exactly. 
They said that the new Scion is meant to enter the ring of the Watcher and accept the blessing of Akara. Whatever that means. They're waiting for you. Do you wound me, stranger? The Alphar despise me, the gnomes fear me, but with you I have no conflict. My ship, my crew, my island, you've taken everything. But you will not have the blessing of Akara. It is my birthright. Have you ever tasted death, my friend? Have you felt her sweet lips upon your cheek? I was a dead man. I had finally found the peace that had always escaped me in life. But then Akara brought me back, took my hand and fished me from my slumber. I did not choose to be... this! When Akara learned what I truly am, he abandoned his creation, leaving me to walk this earth in anguish. He owes me. It is more than these fools realize. So much more. Akara is ancient. All of Armalor has passed before his eyes. The wise and the wicked. And he has passed judgment. When you receive his power, you become one with Akara and his will. The wisdom, the strength, the magic. It is the power to change the world. I am always too late. That is the game. Akara gives the Scion his blessing. And I am left with nothing. That power is mine. I am owed a future beyond this withering husk of a body. Everything was taken from me. As long as I walk this island and sail those blue waters, I will seek what is rightfully mine. No one tells dead Kel when to die. Not Akara. Not you. That is one power I still possess. Have you learned nothing on Gallows End? Fate cannot be chosen. It is thrust upon you. And as Akara dragged me from the heavens, I will drag you down to hell. The Baronet is eager to meet you, especially after what you did to his friends. Goodbye, Baronet. 
surprised to see me? The truth is that you drew me here, not Akara. I've tried time and again to see your path, to read your weave, but I find nothing in the magic. Yet, I have seen something new all on my own. It is hope, an opportunity to end the threat of dead Kel once and for all. That is what the Scion is meant to be. What you are. You are Akara's attempt to fix his own mistake. Go now, deep into Akara Tor, but do not go alone. You're destined to be joined by another. The captain has a good heart. Insensible as she is, she will not leave you, no matter what takes place in Akara Tor. Go! Find your Kill everything! Ready. I won't let let's hunt some pirates.
Down here. 